okay, just discovered something amazing within Cursor. It's called project rules. And these are AI rules specific to this project because this was something I wanted so bad. And so think of it like a knowledge base for the project. And you don't want to use rules for AI because this is like global across every project that you're doing. Um, and you could use that, but like I didn't want it for this, right? I wanted project specific rules rather than like global. And what's cool about these is these get added to your Git, kind of like settings.json almost. And so when you're working with a team of developers, because right now we're working on our software, right, with a team of developers and our software is like, it's, it's crushing it. It just, yeah, did a lot of revenue last month. But one problem that we always have is like when there's something new that happens, you know, my co-founder Nas has to make a Loom video to explain it to me, like this is how we do it this way, or this is how that works, or we have to explain it. And most of us know that we're using AI for a lot of the coding. And so like what's better than Looming it and all of it? Well, you can just make specific rules. So for example, like I've added this rule, and you guys can steal some of these prompts too. Like these are actually, I found them really valuable. Um, and this is for production code, right? I'm not talking about like you, these are just going to be that valuable if you're building random things. But if you're using production code, this is actually really valuable because, okay, so you're senior developer. And what, what was happening why I made this prompt is the problem that I kept having was it, AI, what it tries to do is it tries to impress you. So it will like write all this random code that you didn't even need. And so what that will do is just like be really confusing why it added all of that oftentimes break what was working before, cause weird errors that like you don't really have time to check all the time. And so, um, and then every time I, you, you make a commit, right? Like if I'm reviewing your code or if, if Nas is reviewing my code, he'll be like, dude, why did you add so many different like ways of doing it when you should have just did consistent? And so uh, what I tell it here is I'm like, this code will be going into production so be meticulous in your implementation and think this through. Do not code until your confidence rating of implementing is 10 out of 10. Also, let's not try to replace things unless what you have is actually better than explain why you're doing it that way. Let's keep things as simple as possible. Fewer lines, the better. We wanna make sure we're backwards compatible as well whenever possible. Whenever my code gets reviewed, I want minimal changes. So now when it actually writes code for me, it makes sure it's backwards compatible, it makes sure that it's doing fewer lines. This is a magical prompt. I learned this from somebody on YouTube, I forget their name, but it's a magical prompt because you, because the fewer lines it writes for you, like literally the better, right? You tell it that because otherwise it will try to always write so much and more lines of code means more bugs. And so you wanna have like as little lines of code as possible. So now I've made it a rule. And what's great is that when our team pulls this, right? They will have these rules synced with their own thing, which I think at least that's what's gonna happen. Um, and then when they're using their AI, it will literally apply this rule for them, right? Uh, another rule I just recently learned, which is freaking awesome, is called principle of least surprise. And I learned it because I was reading ch um, OpenAI's docs on something. Let me see if I can show you. Oh yeah, right here. So I was using OpenAI's docs on uh, ChatGPT's docs on tools and how their tools work. And then they had a concept right here, right here uh, in their docs, make the functions obvious and intuitive, right? So you wanna actually do this for your front end, like for your actual external facing like client side code, uh, like your app as in, like the, the design of it, the UI UX, but you also wanna do this within your code itself. Like for example, when I right click here, right? I, I expect something to pop up. What I don't expect to happen is if I right click, like it goes to the next page, right? That's not what I expect when I right click. And so that is the principle of, um, uh, it comes from least astonishment or principle of least surprise. I think this is like much more makes sense. And so it should behave in a way that most users will expect it to behave, okay? Um, like no matter where I'm at, if I hit command, comma, I always expect to go into my settings here. So let's go back. So now I have this in here, principle of least surprise. In your code follows principle, try to do things the most obvious way. 
Um, and now it will also just follow this rule. And another one that was constantly annoying is I would always tell it to like install stuff and then it would keep trying to do npm install, npm install. And it's like, we have yarn, it's yarn. The project is like yarn everywhere. We don't do anything with npm right now in this project. And so then when I go here, I just added it. I'm like yarn, not npm, we're using yarn, okay? Um, and then it will just like, just stick to using yarn. So I was mind blown that this freaking exists. So this could work as a synced knowledge base with your team. Like, are you kidding me? It's one of the coolest features ever. And I hope it brings you value.